Hey guys, it's Jen here, the Social Girl Traveler, and I'm so glad you came back for this one. This is gonna be so epic. No, like really, I'm so excited about this. This is all about how to grow your IG from 10,000 to 20,000 to 30,000, however you wanna do it. But seriously, this is like all the tips and tricks that I know that I've grown my account this way. So, you guys ready? Pen and paper, it's time to take notes. Okay, go. Go get pen and paper. Okay, you ready? Okay. All right, let's do this. Number one, find the person on IG that you admire, that you love, and go look at their page. Go admire their page, and I'm not saying follow everything they do or copy them because that's silly. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is to look at their page and see what worked and what didn't work. Basically, look at the brand or the influencer that you want to be and see what worked for them and didn't work. Chances are you're going to find someone because there are billions and billions of people on Instagram that you already admire and it is your opportunity to see because they've already like laid down the bricks for you what worked and what didn't work. So that gives you a strategic idea of what your content should look like. Number two, I will say this till I am blue in the face, guys. Quality, 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 quality. You can have shitty content and nobody will like it no matter what you can push you can put money behind it and it won't work because it's shit content if it's quality content it will always be great so remember put in the time it will happen promise number three and i know people are like really really is this really number three there should probably be number one for across all social media platforms but it's my number three and it's consistency consistency is key to growth see what happens is is that instagram will start to monitor your consistency and we'll see that because you're constantly posting every day, twice a day or once a day, whatever the case is, it will reward you and it will get your pictures or your content in front of other people's eyes, which is awesome. Number four, easy peasy. This one's all about tagging. You know when you click on a photo and you see like all those like tags that come up on people's feeds and stuff? Yeah, that is really important. And you know why? Because what happens is, for example, my girl Oprah, I love Oprah. Oprah, if you're watching this, hi. <laughs> okay, so Oprah, I tag Oprah in the majority of my posts because you know what I want to happen? I want people that are watching Oprah to then start to see my content because Instagram doesn't know that you're not Oprah, but Instagram associates that because you're tagging Oprah, you may or may not be like Oprah. So then it'll put you in front of the eyeballs of the people that follow Oprah. You get me? You see where I'm going? All right, cool. Number five use those hashtags hashtags the shit out of your posts you get 25 hashtags i keep a set of hashtags in my notes and then they're like my go-to hashtags my go-to hashtags and then i change the remainder five hashtags depending on the actual post and what's in the picture and kind of describing it hashtags do really work do your homework and study those hashtags if you stick around to the end of the video, you will get a link to the freebie hashtag list that I've created just for you guys. Number six. All right, you guys. I'm sorry to say this. A lot of people are not gonna like it, but it's the truth. I'm really sorry. That whole follow and unfollow game really works and it definitely grows the gram. So if you have time to spend four hours a day on the following and unfollowing, then ugh, hats off to you. Do it because that'll definitely grow the gram. Number seven, the liking and the commenting. Super important. Social media is all about being social. Like, social. So you gotta be social. You gotta like, you gotta comment. A tip that I would suggest and that I use a lot is there are certain accounts that I really admire and I have their notifications on. So when they post, I get a little notification that says that so-and-so posted, We'll say Oprah because I like Oprah. So Oprah posted and I'll be the first one to like and I'll be the first one to comment and it really helps to grow engagement. So my suggestion to you, strategically speaking, is to pick five or six Instagram accounts that you truly admire, that you want to be like and that you want your audience to look at as well. Like you want people that look at them to look at you. You know what I mean? And start following them, put on those notifications and every time they post, Go ahead and like, and maybe make a comment. A lot of people talk about comment pods. If you have time for comment pods, then by all means, hats off, do those too. They are super helpful, but they are time consuming. Last but not least, engagement is the most important thing. So, like I said, in order to create that engagement, you gotta like, you gotta comment, you gotta hashtag, you gotta tag, 
and you gotta use all those new features that Instagram comes up with. So, their IGTV, like the new stories and the new features that they come up with those stories, use those tools. The thing is that Instagram wants to keep you on Instagram. That lie that like they don't want people to look at their phones, that's not true. They want people to stay on Instagram. So in order for you to stay on Instagram, they keep bringing up these new features and if you consistently use them and you're one of the new users, they will reward you and make sure that more people see that you're using their new feature. You know what I mean? You gotta think strategically with Instagram. But for the most part, I want you guys to remember the biggest rule of it all across any platform. Social media is meant to have fun. Be authentic. If you're freaking out about a post because it's two o'clock and it should have been up at one and you're scared you're not gonna get as many likes, don't post. My biggest rule of thumb is if you've got nothing good to say, don't say anything at all. I get you're trying to grow the gram because once you get to 10,000, things definitely change. But understand that quality beats anything else. And the biggest and the most important thing is the people that follow you, your community. You guys that are watching this right now, if it was not for you guys, I would not be where I am today and I would not be able to share this with you. So I owe it all to you guys and I put you guys before anything else. If I've got nothing good to say, I ain't gonna say it. All right, so before I go, you guys know the drill. Make sure to comment, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and if you tag somebody below, I'll make sure to link a freebie to my hashtags just for you guys. Until next time, good luck, and I'll see you guys soon.